Uh, the program for the soldiers is July 25th to July 30th. Uh, the soldiers, we're having six, we have 60 seats on JetBlue. Uh, so it'll be 60 Marine soldiers and family members coming up July 25th. We met at uh, Kennedy Airport by the fire department, the police department, have an escort to Long Beach. Um, Saturday we have a trip to the city, to Ground Zero, and the Rescue One for lunch. In the evening they go, in the afternoon they go to Top of the Rock and then they'll go to restaurants in town. Sunday morning they have a 5K on the boardwalk at 8 or 9 o'clock. In the afternoon we have a three o'clock parade for town and uh, right followed by a barbecue at Long Beach Catholic. Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday we'll be on the beach, scoot and surf, uh, give surf lessons to all the kids and the uh, soldiers and marines. And Monday night we'll be going to a Met game. Uh, the Mets graciously gave us 80 seats for uh, the Monday night game so we're taking uh, in mass we'll be going to there. So uh, we'll be visiting Walter Reed tomorrow and uh, finalizing, kind of finalizing the trip. Uh, we're driving down, dropping off some pampers and stuff some, that the children need down there. And uh, we hope to have a great, great uh, vacation. My name is Mark Wolf. Uh, I served aboard the United States Intrepid, uh, United States, the USS Intrepid from 1970 to 1972. I was in Air Anti-Submarine Squadron 31. That was during the Cold War, Cold War if you remember, and uh, our mission was to track and locate any Soviet submarines uh, in the North Atlantic and the Mediterranean, and we were the most successful <laughs> aircraft carrier to do that at the time. And we're supposed to compete with that? Yes, go ahead. Seriously? Well, you <laughs> guys are right combat right? veterans. I mean, come right. on. I'm Jay, uh, United States Army, um, U.S. Army, uh, 90 to 99. Um, I was in the first Gulf War with Dennis over here. My name's Menace. I'm the Vice President of the U.S. Veterans Motorcycle Club. We've been supporting the Long Beach Waterfront Warriors. This is our sixth year. Uh, we ride in the parade, we support all their events. It's a great thing what the people of Long Beach are doing here. They invite the veterans down each year. Our motorcycle club is comprised of veterans from all branches of the service. We have the Navy, Army, Army, Air Force. This is my baby brother, Mad Dog, and we serve together in Desert Storm. Yes, my name is Baron. Okay, and I I served in uh, I started my service in 1973 at the end of the Vietnam War, and I retired from uh, active service in 1997. I served in the Gulf War. Um, like I said, I've been riding with the U.S. Veterans MC now for almost six seven years, and we support all veterans military services. Hi, my wife and I have both been involved with the Waterfront Warriors since it began. We were actually there when they came up with when we came up with the name. Both of our families have been in the military. My wife's father served on the ground in France in World War II as an infantryman in Foxhole, Foxholes, and actually got his citizenship in France. My dad served on the famous ship, the Indianapolis, the ship that took the atomic bomb across. Thank God he was off before it went down and was torpedoed. Uh, we have a family that's always served. I have an uncle who has since passed away who had the great honor of bulldozing concentration camps. He was a CB. And then a couple of other uncles who also served in the military. My older brother and I also served. Uh, I was a medic in Fort Sam Houston, Texas in 1963. And when we heard about this organization, we felt it was absolutely the perfect place for us to go to help out. My wife is very involved also Every service person who comes to Long Beach in the summer gets a 
beautiful red, white, and blue blanket, which she coordinates with the knitters at the Magnolia Senior Center to create. So right now, our house is full of red, white, and blue blankets, and we couldn't be more proud to have them and deliver them and see the look on the service people's faces when they get those. So it's really a wonderful activity, and we're just loved living in Long Beach and being involved in this. It's an important thing that they partner with us because uh, it's, it's very important. The things they do in the community, the things that we do in the community, really serve everybody. So I would like uh, to accept this uh, check and Richard say a couple of words, but give them a big round of applause yeah. and support their organization in the summertime. <laughs> I just want to say, hey, let's hear it for Brandon. If you want to hear him again, our bike ride. Our only fundraiser is on August 9th, the Curb Organization's bike ride around Long Beach. Brandon will be playing there too. And on behalf of the Curb Organization to support the wonderful organization of Long Beach Waterfront Warriors, I want to project, present a check for $1,000. I spent 21 years active military, 16 of those in combat. Um, retired just last year. And this kind of uh, event, I like it because it, it allows the families to come, it allows the families to uh, spend time with their loved one and take a little bit. Um, back what they what they've given up uh, for example I stopped surfing uh, 9 12 2001 and surfed last year once right so it, it, it really kind of gets you back to what you used to be like and uh, all the sacrifices you made helps you or help me uh, feel better about myself it's good as a veteran to give back to other veterans little story about the board so this is becoming you know every year we got to up you know make the board better and better so like this year we really um, you know I was talking to Jerry I really wanted to do something special so Mike Becker out east he shaped this board, hand shaped it, and uh, we got a glass. We had all the laminates. They worked really hard, and uh, it's a definitely a custom waterfront warrior surfboard, one of a kind. And um, everybody involved, but thank you so much, and um, just really excited just to be a part of this. So. Oh yeah, the, the board was also donated by Unsound Surf Shop. They helped out as yeah. well. Thank you, Unsound. Yeah. Put it, have it between nice. you two. There you go, baby. All right, for the board. For the board. For the board. All right, for the board. Uh, Marco's going to pick. I'm going to pick. Hey, oh, okay. 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 The older brother's going to pick. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you had to say that, man. Eh? <laughs> And the winner is Kevin Rafferty. Oh! All right, Kevin Rafferty is the winner. One week at Student Surf Camp. Mike Ward. Mike Ward. All right, Mike Ward. Yeah. Yeah, oh, some people take all the clients. <laughs> <laughs> One week, student surf camp. <laughs> That's great. Harry H. Harry H. Harry H. Three, two, two, four, five, six, five. <laughs> all right, again, I want to thank Marco and Richie for the six years they've given us all the proceeds.
from this great restaurant to help us out uh, the summer vacation. So, thank you, Richie. Thank you, Marco. You know, I just want to say it's a pleasure being here and how proud I am of our community that once again, hey John, are supporting our waterfront warriors, all of you coming out, and we know how much it means to those that have served our country, and especially those that are uh, down in Bethesda, and, and I guess it used to be Walter Reed Hospital. You know, for all of them knowing that they have an opportunity to come up here and enjoy the hospi hospitality of Long Beach really means a lot. And I think that when we talk about patriotic spirits, we know how much they have served our country. But in what you do here tonight, and what Jamie and, and Jerry and everybody else who's been working with the Waterfront Warriors, your patriotism really runs deep because it's a lot of hard work, a lot of effort that you put into this to make their lives a little bit better. And I think that really says a lot about the character here. $50.50 and $635. And drinks will be on you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the, next <round> <laughs> yeah. All right, the next round will be on. Okay. Zero four six seven seven two. And there's no name on it.